Alright, hello, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is Sinra Devin, and today we're going to be feeding all of Yemen's cores to Yemen. You know, finally, finally, as we have gotten into a pretty good war with Hijaz without actually having to fight all of their stupid allies. Victory seems easily within hand's reach. And as soon as we have feed, given all of that to Yemen, we shall start converting them. I'll uh, start uh, annexing them. Alright, so here we go. Hereman is almost out of the war. As expected. We don't really want anything from them. We simply want them to not be in the war. I wonder if they will accept that already. No, of course they won't. That would have been too easy. Alright, so Hijaz is slowly, slowly but surely crumbling a bit here. Hijaz has sent down the entire force to fight Yemen. So what we might want to do is send our troops over there instead. Have one dude in there. The rest goes here. Iran, do you want to get out yet? We're getting there. So I'm sending these guys over as a rescue mission for... nope. I'm not. They completely lost that. I was thinking that they might actually have been able to at least hold their ground for a couple of days. Apparently not. Luckily Hijaz is in a million wars, so even though they focus us, I mean the Ottomans should be coming in here, sieging Hijaz soon. After they've sieged this, they'll probably enter. They do have a lot of troops, and we don't have a general anymore, do we? No, we don't. Let's see. That's a decent leader. He can be our leader for now. We'll just stand here. We have the war goal, I believe. Yep. We have the war goal and we don't have to fight before... Uh, all honesty, I don't want to fight before we have these troops with us, since that's all our cannons. If they want to fight us in the mountains, though, they should... They're very welcome. Let's see. What kind of war score are we talking about to give all cores back? Not even that much. Not even that much. Probably just beat their army, siege that, and then siege their capital and we should be fine. Ottomans, of course we want to marry you. You sexy beast. Alright. They're still in war with Ethiopia. You know what, Ethiopia? You don't want access. That makes no sense at all. Well, I guess they'll beat up Mamluks and stuff. Oh, they're trying to fight the the soldiers of Yemen. Baluchistan is also here, that's very nice. They can run around beating up our vessels. That doesn't cost us any manpower. And it does cost them manpower. How are they doing on that? 5,000 up to 8,000 troops or something like that. Mostly mercenaries, actually. We are also quite down in manpower. We might want to hire another mercenary. So yeah, they're simply fighting all off all our vessels. Now Atjuran is coming. Seems like they don't hate us anymore. No, they don't. Beautiful. Alright, so we've lost a lot of stuff down here. But once all our vessels are here, we, we should be fine. In fact, I think I'll put our vessels on aggressive. Go for it. You can fight all you want. We have to walk. It's not a show superiority, in which case our vessels would be better off being unsupportive, since we wouldn't we wouldn't want them to, to die all the time and lose us war score. Alright, so Miran has no troops and they're completely sieged. There's not really any point in piecing them out. I mean, we could, but what we want, what we we want from them. 
that's not that much, is there? Though the money might be nice. Yeah, the money might actually be, be worth it. Let's just take it. Alright, we have troops coming over. Mercenaries heading into the mountains. Cannons heading into the rest of our army. Gaining a free stability is nice. This is considered desert. We'll group this and take this guy over. This guy over there. Now we do want to speed down a little bit. All right, so let's see. Where's Archiran's troops? Yemen's got beaten and are over there. Did Archiran's troops already die? Well, that was anticlimactic. We are going to have to fight this at some point. I assume. You know, these two ships should just go out there. Where are you going? You're going in there to fight, to take the war gold? Would you please not? 15th? Yep. You want to fight me in there? No, you won't. Alright. When are we back? The 23rd. The 23rd. Uh, hopefully we'll be considered the first to go in there, otherwise we'll have a problem. Let's see, free maneuvering, Sarah maneuvering, yeah, that's it. That's what we wanted. This ship was supposed to go to Indus. <laughs> the second we get manpower back. Oh, okay, that's because we're in a war and it can't, we can't actually gain manpower while in a battle. Alright, Baluchistan is sieging, we just beat up the majority of their army. We should do this, just move out, siege stuff. Oh, there's Archeron. Welcome back. In fact, if, if that's how we're going to be, I don't even think that we need to. You know, this Baluchistan, this is totally your objective. Yeah, you should you should be focusing that. Alright, so he just seems to be fallen very nicely. Improve relations, ensure that we can annex them as soon as we are done with this. Good, 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 good. They lost three ships. Very good. This is nice. We will be able to destroy Hijaz so bad. We'll also obviously make them, since we're winning this big, I want to do this. You should not be talking to people. You should not have money, and you should be paying war reparations. All these things that they seem to have forgotten that they're supposed to do. Persia is no longer considered a ri rival. Alright. Did they get too big or too small? They got wrecked. <laughs> they have no allies either. Oh, well, that's great. So these guys are running down here. No, they're running here. What are they trying to do? Well, they they can't retake the capital because there's simply too many troops there. And okay, the AI is just going to AI a bit here. I won't stop him from doing that. How many troops do we have here? We have 13,000. That's definitely a decent army. We should go in and help you. There we go. Might not have been the best choice, but I think ensuring that they simply have nothing left is Oh, that the army is constantly routed is actually quite good. It allows for Yemen to take back most of their stuff for themselves. This would also be Yemen's. Eh, I won't, don't want to give them that. If we take more land, we'll take it for ourselves. We have a lot of admin power anyways that we could potentially use, even though I do want my admin tech 7. Hmm. Now that I think of it, this ship is doing absolutely nothing. 
and they are actually already 100% uh, blocked due to Archer Run. Beautiful work, Archer Run. Archer Run also looking much more likely to. Oh yes, uh, they're still a bit pissy, mainly to, due to the fact that they don't trust us. We lose to piety, lose to prestige, sadly. But we do gain more te uh, less technology cost and um, more manpower. And taxes. Manpower and taxes are definitely what we need. National unrest for five years. Ouch. National manpower for five years. Ouch. Ah. How are revolts? We have a little bit of problems here with Adal. I mean, if we do this, then we can just do this, and I think we'll be alright. Qatar is pretty much the only place that has trouble, and that's because we lowered the autonomy there. So at this point, I think we're looking pretty decent. I don't even care if they siege this back. Because as soon as this falls, we will be able to enact at least the majority of what we want. Assuming that they will actually fall at any point. Local unrest, mercenary cost. I don't really care. Yemen is definitely the weakest of our vessels currently. But it doesn't matter, because we're about to siege the only fort. There we go, 91%. They will accept this. Indeed they will could even ask them to release Shamar, but there's no point. Why would we even want to do that? We could take the land for ourselves, though. But if we were to take land for ourselves, it might... I don't know. I would rather have Mecca, then. But that would be expensive. Doing something like that... And it would also cost the ugliest of border gore. Wait a second, they actually have a, a real fort in here. No, they don't, so... Then we might as well just take this. More money. Send it. Ship it. Yemen is now huge. And they shall now be annexed. Beautiful. We'll group up our troops. I don't know, yeah, something like that. We shall call everything. We have actually converted everything as well. Very nice. We have close to 100% uh, converted. Religious unity should be nearing, nearing 100. Persia still has no freaking allies. Persia is relatively weak, as far as I remember. Yeah, they only have 4,000 troops and 6,000 manpower. We could attack Persia. Um, I think we need to wait a little bit at least, just for our manpower to recover s ever so slightly. Lose the piety, gain the prestige. Okay. So this is our land now. Once this is annexed, we'll have a very nice uh, enclave, en enclave of wasteland here. Sindh is probably still allied with the same people as before. If that ever does go away though, we should definitely, definitely attack them. So let's set this to best guess. Let's see if there's anybody we don't agree with. Yemen, yeah sure. Qqus, Persia, Ottomans, yep. I might want to know about Ethiopia, but whatever. Hesse, I really don't care. Aloda. I like a Kaffa. Alright, so a new target that we have would now be Ethiopia. As well as obviously Hejaz a bit more. Hejaz is basically back to how they used to look. And uh, yeah, so Persia, Hejaz, Ethiopia, Alodia, 
Mamluks, we have a lot of targets to fight. And we still, of course, have Mombasa down here and Kilva and all of that. All in all, I think we're going to have a great let's play here. I mean, not even that many years in. I mean, the first hundred years haven't passed, and I think it's going to be alright. Annex in Yemen will be a great first step. It will take us quite a while. Should be done May uh, 1513. So that's seven years. Hmm. Oh, look, they took some land off the Mamluks. All of the Namibian uh, culture, pretty much, has now been united under Elodia, as well as one Egyptian. And down here we are Namibian. Yeah, I think that's actually the entire Namibian culture group that's united now. That's interesting. Also, if we make our way into Elodia, we will be able to make our way into Sub-Saharan country and uh, take over most of Africa. That would also be uh, very nice. You can tech up. Oh yes, administrative, of course. So the next tech we'll be able to get another idea. Should probably go for quality. Just because of the manpower we need so badly. So this should not be considered an overseas territory, exactly. Uh, but then again, I guess we are considered to be in uh, Asia, so this could never be overseas territories. This is considered to be in Africa, so we need to have a land bridge into Af uh, into the land, otherwise it's considered overseas territories. And as well in Europe, uh, we would have to go through here or here in order to not get overseas territories. Alright. So what do we have? About 300 years left. We should be able to expand quite... it should go faster and faster as our manpower increases and everything. I think we'll be fine. Converting all of the Muslim world might be hard, but I think... I think there's a chance that we can do it. Ibadi will indeed become the the new Sunni. I believe we can also, there's a thing we can do where it's actually says unite Islam. Unify Islam, yeah. We don't own really anything of any of it. I guess we do. Muscat and Adan is actually something we need. And then we need a whole lot of provinces. But yeah, that would be nice. It gives us a lot of good modifiers as well. Plus 2% missionary strength mainly. So let's have a look. There's only the two new provinces that have not been converted. And we're now actually gaining manpower again. How wonderful. Baluchistan. Yeah, sure. We're also gaining money. We're actually gaining a decent amount of money. Let's see, land maintenance modifier. You know what? Take it. 575 five seems like a alright way to be distributing our points. Mm. Let's see, we shouldn't be making all that much money now. Oh, we are. Uh, so he's basically paying for himself. That is very convenient. Very convenient indeed. This guy might be alright, but now, no, we don't. we don't want to spend all our money. We want some we want some manpower back though. Can we build some more barracks? And if so, this would be a good place to build a barrack. Yeah, that's fine for now. We might, we might even want to convert the culture here. But then we have to remove Persia. Alright, so I think I'll end the episode here. Next episode will probably be finished uh, annexing Yemen and uh, everything should be heading in the right direction. So thanks for watching and see you next time.